What's up everybody and welcome back to an episode here of Bob Gibson's World to the Show series here in MLB The Show. Last episode, Bob Gibson almost got his first complete game. He got another win to go to 6-0 of the season. I believe he allowed one run last game as well. I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and advance and let's play his next appearance. Player new but first, it looks like we got uh, some coaching stuff. The time we lost Bob, it's pretty common that some players will get some extra work in on the practice field. Okay, maybe I'll check out things. Alright, it looks like we will be going help against Corpus Christi once again. Alrighty, and here we go. Bob Gibson's 8th. Start, I believe. Bob Let's see. That this is eighth start of the, the season. What's your take on him, Dan? Let's see if he can get win number seven for Bob and advancing to seven and zero. Oh. As pitch number one is swung and hit softly to the first baseman. Felt number one to start off that game. You like to see that one pitch, one out. Those are the best kind of outs right there. Oh, yeah, that just one. got Guys, you take a look at the, home the strike zone. Oh, one one counting out a gray Kissinger. Right now as they come Kissinger. Nine of their last 292 batting average for him. Good. He's having a good decent year as he swings right hard, been and been it's a card. Ground the ball to the third baseman for number two. Great defense. Moses Good Chen up, up at the plate now. 220 for him. This is be Moses Bad Chen start for him. Now, he hopefully he get that average up. And hopefully he gets hot sometime. But today is not the day he gets hot versus Bob Gibson. As he is even of the count. Somebody's one and one. For him as pitch number three is underway. And a swung on and missed. One, two count now. To that well Let's see if Bob Gibson can get that outside slider action going, and he does. Just outside, but it is fouled off for Chen to stay alive. And it is a soft ground bar to the shortstop odd to first base for number three to end the top of the first. To the bottom of the second, now we go. Second inning set to go. Oscar Owen Shaver is up at the plate for Corpus Christi to start off. The top of the second is still a scoreless game as Springfield did not get a run across the plate in the bottom of the first inning. That's the count now as one on one pitch number three is underway and is just a bit outside. Bottu. Good eye there by Colton Shaver. Bob tries for some high cheese and the count is three and one now to Colton. Colton has seen the ball very well in his first play to Baron South. Bob Gibson gets a slider just inside. Bob Gibson now will try a fastball low and away and it is swung on and Fouled off to the first baseball pen. And the slider is hit softly to the shortstop onto first base for our number one. To begin the second inning. Alrighty. Osvaldo Duarte up at the plate and pitch the one is just in there to get the top of the strike zone. For strike one and pitch number two is just a bit outside. Okay. Let's get this slider action going. There we go. Swung on and missed. To make the count one and, one and two, Bob Gibson is once again ahead of the count, two and, two. and now it's even two and two. Good eye by right there. Let's see if we get him some high fastball action, and we should do. Swung on and missed to Bob Gibson to pick up his first strikeout of the game. Chucky Robinson at the plate now. As he swings and misses at the first pitch he sees, he is second in the All-Star voting for catchers. As pitch number two is a base hit up the middle as he takes advantage of a hanging slider. Thankfully it wasn't over the fence right there. 
Here's Max Moroff standing in. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. No home runs as a 10 RBI. There go. Soft fly ball. Little high fly ball to right for the end. In. To the third end, here we go. I'm just Chavez up at the plate now for Corpus Christi to start off the top of the third and he swings at the first pitch he sees and it is a soft line drive to the third baseman. Start off the third inning here. Curry jokes at the plate now. Corpus is ninth hitter coming to bat. We still have a scoreless game here in the top of the third inning with one out. This count was 1-0 and, and pitch number 2 is underway and it is, wow, a ball even though that should have been a strike. But okay, 2-1 count now. Looks like Bob Gusta get back into the count after that terrible miss called by the home plate umpire. That's pitch number 4 is fouled off. To make count even 2-2 two and two now here to Corey Jokes and the pitch and it is swung on and missed. Bob Gibson, second of the game. Back to the top of the order as Brian De La Cruz. His last at bat, he swings on the first pitch, and this at bat, he also swings on the first pitch, and there's a ground ball to the shortstop on to first base to end the inning. All right, he. Great is back up, and he did not want to. He held his swing right there. He did not like the pitch. He wanted to swing, but he did not. But it was in there for a strike anyway. As he goes down, oh, at two now, to Bob Gibson here. Start off the fourth and and in the pitch, and it is hit very softly to right field for a base hit. Gray get the leadoff single here for Corpus to start off the fourth inning. Let's see if they can take advantage of it. Let's see if Bob Gibson can settle down and not worry about that leadoff hit. Chen is back up now. He's battling one and two count now for him, and it is in there. Bob Gibson gets him looking to pick up his third of the game. Colton Shaver back up at the plate as pitch number one is just a bit low. For ball one, one on count now to him. Pitch number two is in there. Same spot as pitch number one, just a little bit over. Pitch number three is swung on and missed. A good slider by Bob Gibson there. And Bob Gibson started once again and is fouled off. But Bob Gibson gets him this time. Swung on and missed by Mr. Shaver. Bob Gibson's fourth strikeout of the game. Pitch number one is fouled off here to Esvato. And pitch number two is swung on and missed. And pitch number three is swung on and missed. Bob Gibson retires the last two batters. Strikes out the last two batters and the inning. The lead off base hit does not work. We're here in the top of the fifth inning. Chucky Robinson leads off for Corpus Christi as he swings and misses. On the first pitch he sees. Whoa, that's like got away right there. 1-1 one, one count now here to Chucky Robinson. Here in the fifth inning, still a score. This game we have a pitcher's duel happening here in Springfield. All right, and the pitch is a soft ground ball to the first baseman unassisted. One out here to start off the fifth inning. Max Moroff at the plate now. Facing Bob Gibson, he swings on the first pitch he sees, and it is a hard fly ball off of the right field wall, and he is going to have an easy stand up double here. You could hear the solid contact all, right. all the way up here, and I thought we were going to have our first run of the game right there. Gets all Corpus the have something going here, ladies and gentlemen, and okay with the the top of the fifth Chavez. inning. They have a runner and score in and position now as the count now here to Andres Travis. He is down one and two. You can definitely to tell him, let's see if Bob could get out of this jam. Oh, they call it a little jam, but. 
Si finit là le stop, hein. Soft high fly ball and he misses it. The right throw to miss is the ball. An E9. As the runner was able to advance. They come as a double, huh? Okay, no error. Back to back doubles here. In the fifth inning off of Bob Gibson. Bob Gibson is in a bit of a jam now. Let's see if he can get out of it. He is ahead of the Canticori Jokes. Oh, and two now. Let's see if Bob can get out of it. And it is just in the outside corner. Just hit. Get home looking for Bob Gibson. Sixth of the strikeout. Back to the top of the order here for Corpus Christi. What do we got here at Challenge? And the inning without allowing a run on extra base hit. And the inning without allowing a run. I'll walk and then uh, let's see. Let's go with. Let's go with that one. All right, let's get out of this jam. Oh, just foul. Very scary right there from Bob Gibson. Pitch number two is in. The slider gets in there. Bottom of the corner. Let's see if we can get him with another slider. And we should do. Bob Gibson gets out of the fifth inning jam. As he gets him so looking off of a slider. And stepping up as the shortstop, Gray Kessinger. This game is rolling right along as we move into okay. the middle. Okay. Okay, we have another challenge here. And then without allowing a run, and any without allowing a run on an extra base hit. And then without allowing a run and three strikeouts. Should we try and retire the side, ladies and gentlemen? No, let's go with let's go with the top one. Just end the end without allowing a run. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Gray is at the plate now for Corpus Christi to lead off the sixth and in here is still a score. This game we have a good pitcher's duel once again as pitching him too softly. Hit back to Bob Gibson onto first base to get out number one here to start off the sixth and in Moses Chen at the plate. Now he is 0 for 2 of the day. As he, <coughs> excuse me. As he is looking for his first hit. Bob Gibson has not been on that much. He has given up multiple hits, multiple extra base hits as well. But he swings on the second pitch and is a high flat body left fielder for the out number two. As Bob Gibson's lock pronounce goes up. Alrighty, Colton Shaver back at the plate. He is 0 for 2 of the day as well. As pitch number one, he sees as he swings and is fouled off. Towards the third base side. Oh, one count. Now to Shaver and pitch number two is swung on and missed. Let's give him another uh, slider, Bob Gibson, and it is a soft ground ball to the shortstop on to first base. One, two, three, inning for Bob Gibson here in the sixth inning. As he completes the challenge. To the seventh inning we go, and Springfield has given Bob Gibson a 1 to 0 lead here in the bottom of the sixth inning as the pitch number one is swung on and hit softly to the third baseman to first base to begin the seventh inning. Out number one now, Chucky Robinson at the play, and I believe in his last at bat, he got a base hit. And he swings on the first pitch he sees here, and it is a Kyvie play by the left fielder. Good catch and dive right there. Alright. After a nice diving play, Bob Gibson starts this at bat with a strike. As usual, as Max Maroff is looking to get another hit, I believe, in his last night, but I believe he is the one that got the double in the fifth inning. As he checks his swing there and it held up. Word to count now here to Max. He is looking to stay alive, but he does not. Bob Gibson gets him looking off of a high fastball here to end the seventh inning. Bob Gibson is out for one another inning as here in the top of the eighth inning. Still a 1 2 0 lead for the Springfield Cardinals. Bob Gibson is at 77 pitches. 0 1 count now here to Andres Chavez. He has 1 for 2. He has a double as well off of Bob Gibson as he's even in the head count and he swings and misses on pitch number 3 to make it a 1 2 count now here to start off the eighth inning. 
even when you're putting it right there, and he swings and misses to start off the inning. Let's pick up Bob Gibson's ninth strikeout of the game. Corey Jolks at the plate now. Let's see if he could get something going as he swings and fouls off the first pitch he sees to the first base side. All one count now here to Corey Jolks and pitch number two is swung on and missed. Bob Gibson's filthy slider against another hitter to swing and miss. And it is a soft ground ball to the third baseman on to first base. To get the second out of the eighth inning. Back to the top of the order here for Corpus Christi. Brian De La Cruz at play. He's 0 for 3 of the day. He has not seen the ball well as he watches pitch one be right down, not right down the middle, but in there for strike one and he swings and fouls off pitch number two. Oh, two 2 count now oh, and he hits the the pitch off softly to the right field and it lands for a base hit I feel like the right fielder totally could have caught that ball but I guess not and Bob Gibson is going to exit as bad fielding right there he could have totally caught that ball but he left it drop for base hit instead and Bob Gibson is relieved here in the 8th inning and Springfield Connors get the win versus Corpus Crispy again Bob Gibson gets his 7th win of the day as he goes 7.2 innings pitch he gave up 5 hits, 9 strikeouts, 0 and run, and 0 walks. Let's go ahead and return to the clubhouse. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that would do it here. Episode number 9, I believe, of Bob Gibson the Electric Show. I hope you enjoyed. If so, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel and you're not done it, subscribe. Hit that bell to the notification so you know when I upload the next video to this series. And I'll catch you all in the next video.